Hey guys, I thought I would uh, share with you guys a um, new gear item that I just purchased a couple weeks ago. I finally got it delivered to me today. It's from Enlightened Equipment. And it's their new quilt. The Conundrum quilt itself. So, as you can see, this is my new quilt that I just purchased. What comes with this uh, quilt is a little nylon stuff sack that you can uh, stuff your quilt in when you get it. And it comes with some straps that you can use to anchor this quilt to your sleeping pad if you want to and open it up. So it comes with actually two of them that you have. And when you unzip it, there are actually connections that you can actually clip these to. And then you can size them up to what you need for your actual sleeping pad. So that you can have it open if you want to and make it wider. Probably not going to use these. Um, more than likely I won't, but I'll just have to see. I may like them. I'll just have to test them out. So, let me lay this quilt out so you can get, kind of get a better view of it from uh, you know, the bird's eye view. And I'll be right okay, back. Okay, I've got, I have this quilt laid out on the table now. As you can see at the bottom, there's actually a rounded foot box now. Um, that's completely sewn in so you don't have to worry about any drafts kind of creeping up through the quilt anymore and with your bag that you get it actually tells you everything you need to know about the quilt um, that's a con conundrum 850 tech 30 degrees and what length the width and what it weighs so it weighs 18.05 ounces which isn't bad at all so this is the bag you get, and it's a fairly good size to store it in. So, it's a nice one. You use that multiple times. Um, this one's kind of a hybrid bag. It's not a sleeping bag, but it's not technically a, a quilt, per se, since you can't zip it all the way down and open it all the way up. Um, it will remind you more of a, a Z-Pax uh, quilt that they sell. Um, with this new quilt, it actually has double draft tubes um, within the zipper so that there is no cold spot with the zipper at all. Um, and I'll show you that in a minute with this. Um, like I said before, it comes with a seal nylon stuff sack. It comes with the storage bag that I just showed you and two elastic straps that you can use for your um, sleeping pad in it. A fairly nice bag. Flip it around so you can see the inside. As you can see, the top actually has two buttons that you can actually click, like the uh, previous models have. So you can technically leave this open for venting and just keep this um, snap so it can keep it snug around your neck and use it. Um, Lighting equipment says you can use it like this and keep the zipper on top of you. You can flip it over and have it this way. You can make the zipper to the right of you or to the left if you want the zipper to be on the left side. Um, it's totally up to you. It's kind of a universal zipper of how you want this to be so I think that's a good idea um, as you can see here's one of the uh, draft tubes here and then it's one right here that they have sewn in it's kind of hard to see on the black but there's actually two draft tubes and they actually marry pretty well together and um, I can't fill a seam at all when I'm sleeping in it so that's nice um, I haven't tried this out in the field yet. Um, I probably will in the next few weeks when it warms up enough. 
Um, right now, the snow's melting and it's just yucky outside, so I'm not gonna mess with it. Um, with these quilts, you will notice, it doesn't really show up on the video, but you will see the darker down um, through, the, through the material itself. Um, this denier is so thin, it's almost transparent. And I can actually see the individual dark spots of all the down. It doesn't look too bad. Um, some people may not like it. Um, because you will see all the imperfections in your down. Um, but it's not that bad. So it's just got one cinch cord um, right here. And it's off kind of to the side of the bag. So it's easy to get to. And you just got to pull it tight. And it cinches it up. And it has a little button that you just pull in the center and just tighten it up and you can just let that loose and let that open up so far i haven't found any flaws with the bag itself it looks like it's well made um, the down seems to be evenly distributed throughout each vertical baffle. Um, so it, it, it's almost kind of like the same design, almost as Z-Packs in a way. Um, Enlightened Equipment's had this vertical baffle uh, design for a very long time, and now Z-Packs has switched over to it. Um, it doesn't really bother me if it's vertical or horizontal. So I think that um, this bag is going to work for me no matter what. Um, and I'm just going to use this for my summer bag um, for when I need it up in higher elevations. It's not going to be my go-to um, late fall, early spring bag that I'll need when I go up in the higher mountains. I'll use my Z-Pax 10 degree quilt for that. But for what I need, this will work perfectly and I'm not going to be worried about it. Um, you can get this quilt in different down types, temperatures, lengths, and widths. Um, I got the 850 fill. Um, I could have gone with the 950, but it's $60 more to save an ounce. So I could have got this bag to weigh 17 ounces, but mine weighs 18. And I didn't see that it was worth paying an extra $60 for an ounce. I just, to me, it just wasn't worth it. Some people, they may want it. For me, it wasn't worth it. You can get this bag from temperatures of 50 degrees all the way down to negative 10 if you want Fahrenheit. The links come from short, which is 5'6", and they go all the way up to X long at 7 feet. And the width will go from slim, which is six, uh, 54, and we'll go all the way to extra wide that is 70 inches. The bags come in multiple colors that you can pick from. Um, so you can design this bag basically the way you want on color wise on the inside and the outside. Um, other than that, this is just an initial review that, uh, of the construction and how it's made. Other than that, uh, gear testing wise, I will have to actually take this out in the field and test it for a few months to see how it performs uh, temperature rating wise because I want to make sure that this this bag is actually going to hold up to 30 degrees um, so I've never bought an Enlighten Equipment bag so I don't know how their temperature ratings are if they're spot on or if they're kind of mm, you know plus or minus a couple degrees so I'll give a a gear review of the bag itself in a few months after I you know put it through its its tests and see if it's actually what it should be if you guys have any comments or questions uh, feel free to ask thanks for watching